Hello chess lovers, let's have a look at a very interesting and aggressive game played by Veselin Topalov. His opponent is Ruslan Ponomoryov and the game was played in 2005. Topalov started with d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, b6, g3, bishop a6, b3. This is the Queen's Indian defense, bishop b4 check. Bishop d2, Bishop e7, Knight c3. A year later, against Aronian, he played with Bishop g2 and putting the other Bishop on c3. But this time he went for Knight c3, castling, Rook c1. We can see that Topolov is not hurrying with castling. Later we can see the reason. c6, e4 d5 and e5. Previously against Gelfand he unintentionally played bishop d3 and later said that he just forgot to play e5. This time we see e5 move, knight e4, bishop d3, knight takes c3, rook takes c3, c5. Later, both Kramnik and Anand absolutely independently from each other stated that the outcome of topolov ponomoryov game was already predetermined on move 12 here, after c5, d takes c5, b takes c5, and here comes an aggressive move by Topolov, h4. Now we can see why he was not hurrying with castling. He needs his rook on this h file. This is a very typical attacking position, by the way, uh, where after h4, white is threatening bishop h7 check. If, for example, rook e8, then here comes bishop takes h7, king h7, knight g5 check, king g8, queen h5, bishop g5, h takes g5, king f8. And here g6 or rook f3 are winning both moves. So we see h6 which is somehow preventing the bishop sacrifice on h7. And here comes a very instructive move, bishop b1, opening up space for the queen to join the attack. According to Topolov, he and his second Cheparinov had analyzed this line up to this position and during their analysis they thought that the best move for black is knight d7 but even after knight d7 white is winning after bishop takes h6 sacrifice h takes g, g takes h6 queen c2 f5 e takes f6 rook takes f6 queen h7 check king f8 and here comes a strong move, knight g5, and this is winning for white. The threat is queen h8 check mate. So instead of knight d7, we see this f5 move in the game. e takes f6, bishop takes f6, queen c2, d4, and here came a strong move by Topolov. Can you find that move? That move is knight g5 h takes g5 and here came another amazing move h takes g5 again as you can see this rook is under attack but he neglects topolov neglects that threat d takes c3 bishop f4 of course uh, rook h8 is also playable and it also wins. You can't take because there is queen h7 check. If for example king f7 then also this is winning for white. But Topolov went for probably more precise move. Bishop f4. King f7. Queen g6 check. King e7. G takes f6. Rook takes f6. Queen g7 check, rook f7, bishop g5 check, king d6, queen takes f7, queen takes g5, 
Rook h7, Queen e5 check, King f1, King c6, Queen e8 check, King b6, Queen d8 check, King c6, and here came the last accord by Topolov. Can you find that move? Bishop e4, and black resigned because if Queen e4, then Queen c7 checkmate. A very interesting and instructive game by Topolov. Your comments, please, and thanks for watching.